Hey guys, Mr. Gibson here. So I wanted to go ahead and explain a little bit about this assignment. Uh, you're going to be doing a gizmo for the third and last explore activity for uh, section 1.4 of unit one. Um, so what that means is we are nearing a test at the end of uh, this week because you're doing this assignment on Monday. So let's just walk through this. This gizmo is not super difficult if you follow the directions okay it's so so important that you follow the directions and click exactly what it tells you to um, and you don't just try and wing it because winging it on this one will confuse you and frustrate you and I don't want that so let's take a look at the instructions for the assignments Let's watch the video which is this video um, go to the gizmo website which I've linked below and log in um, if you don't remember your login, remember it should be first name dot last name and your password should be gizmo one. You should have that, you know, saved in your uh, interactive notebook. And so uh, it says once logged in, open bore model of the of, of hydrogen gizmo. So you're going to click on this. Then you're going to. So whether your first or second period, you know, it should it's right here and I accidentally attached it twice. So I'm going to take it off. It says Bohr model of hydrogen, you're gonna launch that, okay? Then open the Google Doc below and answer the questions using the gizmo. Make sure to follow the directions very closely when you're done, turn in the completed Google Doc. So this is pretty standard of us doing a gizmo. Um, so let's look at the gizmo first. Oops. We're gonna launch this. And here it is, and you can see there's a lot going on here, okay? You've got this weird apparatus here that's shooting a laser. You've got the laser energy here. Over here, you've got uh, the Bohr model of uh, hydrogen. You can tell because it's got one proton, one electron. And this is telling us something about energy levels. And you've got total absorption spectrum and visible absorption spectrum. So, um, and you've got different energy levels here to move the electron. So this is a little complicated. I'm not going to lie, this page. But the directions will tell you exactly what to do, okay? And I actually have taken out some questions from this to make it just a little bit more straightforward and uh, hopefully a little bit easier on you. So let's look at the Google Doc that you're going to be filling out. Here it is, this Bohr model of hydrogen. And so you're going to answer the prior knowledge questions. Again, it doesn't really matter what you put for those. It's just asking you what you already know. So. It's asking, what do you think happens when an electron is hit by a particle of light? What do you think happens to an electron when it emits light? Um, from the last Explore activity, it, it taught you that, but if you're still not sure, that's okay at this point. We're, we will have an explain portion for to kind of wrap everything up. But then you get to the gizmo warm-up, and this is helping you just kind of get used to the simulation. So I'm going to do the warm-up in this video super fast. And that way you guys should be good to go for activity A, which I've shortened to just six questions and activity B, which I have shortened to just eight questions. So if you watch the video, you're only actually answering 14 questions because I'm answering these first three for you. Okay. So it says when light is passed through hydrogen gas and is separated by a prism, some wavelengths of light are absorbed by the hydrogen atoms in the gas. Okay, this causes black bars to appear in the absorption spectrum of hydrogen. All right, an emission spectrum is created when hydrogen gas emits light. So when the uh, light is being absorbed, when the energy is being absorbed by hydrogen, we can tell what colors it's absorbing. And then when the hydrogen is emitting light, it emits what's called the emission spectrum. Um, and if you remember, every atom has a unique emission spectrum. It's kind of like their signature, okay? The Bohr model of the atom was inspired by the spectrum produced by hydrogen gas. So you're actually doing the lab that inspired Bohr to make the Bohr model. Okay, pretty interesting. Uh, the link between light and atomic structures is illustrated by this. Uh, the gizmo shows a laser pointed at a container of hydrogen gas. So that's what's in that container. And after passing through the gas, light from the laser goes through a prism and is detected on a screen. Okay. So let's do this. It says, with the laser energy set to 7.0 EV, that's our unit for energy, click play and observe the blue electron on the orbitals pane. Do uh, the 7.0 EV photons, the photons with that energy, have any effect on the electron? Let's look. So we've got this. 
we're gonna we have the laser energy set to 7.0 and I'm gonna hit play so that this laser shoots through the hydrogen gas through this onto the spectrum and then it will get split across the spectrum and we're gonna see if it has any effect on the electron over here on the orbitals pane so here we go here's the light hits the electron and did you notice any difference I'm not noticing any difference whatsoever. So I'm going to put no. Okay. Now it says click plot, click plot, click pause and set the laser energy to 12.1 EV. So we've paused it. I'm going to set this to 12.1. So we're upping the energy of the laser. Okay. And it says click play, and we're going to keep an eye on this electron and see if that amount of energy it will affect hydrogen's electron at all. So let's hit play. Here we can see the light coming in. Oh, okay. So something obviously happened. Now the question is what happened? Well, what's happening here is the electron absorbed that amount of energy, and that was enough energy to make it jump from the first energy level, which is purple, to the second, all the way to the third, which is that gold, green, I can't really tell color. Okay. Um, so what happens to the electron? It jumped two energy levels higher. And I can't spell today. Okay, I'm going to put it very simple terms. Absorb that energy, which caused it to jump two levels higher. Okay. Now it says go to energy level, select one. Notice that a photon is emitted by the Electron. So let's see what's happening here. So now I'm going to go, it's on energy level three, right? If I click energy level one, that's going to move that electron back down. So it's absorbed energy that's made it go to a higher energy level. When I put it back at energy level one, it has to do something with that energy and it's going to get rid of it. It's going to emit it as light. Now the question is, how much energy did that photon have? That, that, how much energy did that light have that was given off? When the electron went from high to low or from the excited state to the ground state, we can just look right down here. It emitted 12.1 EV. That's its energy. Units are important. So 12.1 EV. It also had a wavelength of 103 nanometers, but it didn't ask us that. So there's our warm up. There's how we kind of manipulate this around a little bit. And you can see the absorption spectrum here. It's going to ask you about that later. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys and let you complete activities A and B. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to ask them again. Follow the directions as closely as you can. If you need help, email me or call me. Okay? Good luck.